Hi there, I'm George R. R. Martin and you're watching Indie Inner Tube, which is more than I have done. Enjoy. Ha 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 ha! How cool was that, George R. R. Martin? Hold on, hold on, hold on. You know what? Just, just, cause just for good. Hi there, I'm George R. R. Martin, and you're watching Indie Inner Tube, which is more than I have done. Enjoy. <laughs> That's so cool. We're such geeks. Seriously, we are true and utter geeks. <laughs> from the word go. Although I would hate if I had to actually sit down with George or R. R. Martin and tell him the video game based on your show sucks. Oh, great not, story. Totally not your fault. Totally not your fault. They rushed it. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. Yeah. Some people, what? I'm not sure what's going on. Some people have no sound. Some people have no video. But you do. I do. Yeah, I've got sound and video. Yeah, we're but all yeah, geeks. It's, we are truly geeks we're around geeks here. here. And because Shazam! Check it out. Shazam! <laughs> because I am a Justice League geek. Oh. I'm a Justice League nerd. I'm a Captain Marvel fan. DC. DC. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, not Shaq. No, yeah. No. Captain Marvel. And not Bazinga, either. Uh-uh. <laughs> it's Shazam, is what that is. Okay, so we're waiting for everybody to come back into the room that had to refresh. Um... Hi, everybody. Nice to see you again. We spent the day at the flea market, so you are getting the unadorned, no makeup, having really hot and tired. We sold some of our possessions Been up since to make our, our uh, show stay on the air kind of a day. Ooh. And the light just went out. Oh, no. <laughs> Did I move and mess things up? You moved. Don't move. Let's see if I can fix it. <laughs> we have got some killer trailers and stuff to show you today. We're very, very um, excited. We're excited about this t-shirt because it's a Justice League Captain Marvel shirt that came from Vancouver Fan Expo, which we had such a good time at, and where we got to meet the cast of Continuum the Series, the new independent transmedia television project from Showcase here in Canada that premieres tonight at 9 p.m. Pacific. We cannot wait. We will tell you guys all about it. It stars Rachel Nichols. It has Tony Amendola. It has Lexa Doig. It has Victor Webster. It has a lot of other sci-fi vet veteran actors from Stargate, from Andromeda. Written by Sarah B. Cooper. Written by Sarah B. Cooper. Um, I don't know why our lights are messing up. Anyway. Couldn't be more excited about the show. And we hear there is possibly a U.S. television deal close to being done. And that would be awesome because then most of you could also see it as well as us. And it's going to be killer. And we can't wait to talk about it on Wednesday. Check out their ARG. It's called Liberate. Liberate, Liberate is their ARG. L-I-B-E-R and the number 8.com. It's 
see if you can figure it out because we can't. Um, <laughs> no, I'm apparently not as smart as the game would. As the average was. bear, yeah. Um, we I know we told you guys that we were going to be reviewing. Uh, oh my gosh! The celebrate the web trailers today. That is not going to happen um, for a couple of reasons. One, we haven't watched them all. We haven't gotten through them all. Jesus. We've gotten through a very small percentage. And uh, to tell you the truth, getting through the first few that we've watched has been difficult. Um, again, I want to preface this, which we have not seen them all, but what we have seen is not quite up to the quality we were expecting given the, the last couple of years of Celebrate the Web. And that is not anyone's fault at all. I commend everybody for having the passion to do what they do. Um, just not what we were expecting. I will say the best written one we've seen so far, uh, it has come from Higlet Films. Yeah, definitely. Most definitely, definitely, definitely. Um, and we'll be gonna, we'll talk about them more on the podcast on Wednesday. Um, on our Wednesday podcast, June 6th, guess what? Jenny Powell will be on our show and they will be, we will be announcing live right on Indiana Tube the winners of Celebrate the Web 6. Six? Seven. I don't know. Celebrate the web. Six. Six. We're excited about that. It's going to be fun because Jenny Powell is awesome sauce and we love to have her on the show anytime we can. And I believe we've got Woo! the guys from Tube Filter coming with her. So it's going to be fun. And that's always the case when Jenny is on the show because Jenny is a tireless supporter and worker in this community. And we couldn't be more supportive of Celebrate the Web if it had been our idea. And it wasn't. And I'm still kind of pissed about that. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's one of those things where you go, oh, wow. Why didn't, I am an idiot because I now, so thought of that before. Tonight we have the world premiere of Legendary, A Tale of Blood and Steel web series trailer. But you're not going to get to see it yet. Oh. Not until later in the show. Oh. See, that's that classic traditional television thing where they tease you about oh. it all the way through and you're not going to get to watch it till later. That's what we're doing there. You should be used to that if you watch TV. You're so nice. You should have known that wasn't going to get shown at the top of the show. Come on now. La, la, la. We're not giving something away <laughs> that good right at the top. No, no, no. We don't give shit away for free. Wait, no. we kind of do. But well, Yeah, we do. But... You just got to chill. Julianne Emery is not live in the chat room tonight, so our little promo deal Aww. isn't going to work. Because we were going to say Julianne Emery is after us to show off our little dance to her little song. Really? You know, I'm going to be on any inner tube tonight. Yay, tonight, her little song. Y'all have seen it. And we said that we actually have a dance for that. Yeah. And she wanted us to do the dance live on the show. But what we said is that there's a little donate button on our website, and if we got $100... Donated uh, to Indiana Tube during the course of this hour. That's the end of the show. We would do the dance, but since Julie's not in the chat room, we're not going to do that promo this week. We'll do it next week. So no dancing, unless you want to dance. Ah, oh, don't be sad. Don't be sad. Was she busy? Yeah, she's doing. She's doing. She's doing something tonight. Oh, she's sad that she's missing the show. Julie, if you're playing Halo. She's not playing Halo. <laughs> she's not playing Halo. That's that would not be a good she's going to the Freakers Ball. So that's that's Okay. So yeah, nothing nothing, you know, she's not playing Halo. Although that would not be a bad thing. Halo Reach, good game. Um Halo 4 is coming. Speaking of games. What? Max Payne 3 is kick ass. You all know I feel that way. Um but did you know EA has announced that Dead Space 3 is coming oh, here we go. by March 2013, which is all fine and good. But we were wondering how far along the game was. I was figuring pretty much ready. And then news was leaked yesterday that apparently EA, in two weeks' time, is planning on blowing up E3 with a demo from Dead Space 3. Did you catch that? A demo from Dead Space 3. Does it not boggle your mind? I have no words for that except I can has. That's all I can get out. I just can't wait. I was so excited last night. All I could do was vibrate. Yeah, she was floating above the porch. Like... Gotta finish my new game plus playthrough of Dead Space 2. Then we have to build your Isaac suit. Then we have to build my Isaac suit. Because I must cosplay as Isaac Clark. Or perhaps Ellie Langford. We don't know yet. Either way. But there will be pictures. 
I know you cosplay. You can cosplay as Isaac, and we'll make your helmet move. And then I'll cosplay as Ellie with one eye. I want to go to E3. So any of you who's <laughs> going to E3, please email me because I need to know information on Dead Space Three. We plan on watching uh, EA's presser live on Spike TV on June fourth, but that's not going to be nearly enough for me. I need pictures of a live Isaac Clark. So if you are going to E3, email me static at indieintertube.tv. Static at indieintertube.tv. I on. have an assignment for I'll you. I'll put it. I'll put it up. Bam! Yeah, I have an assignment for you if you are going to E3. It could be an official Indie Inner Tube TV reporter if you're going to E3 and you email us. So, there you go. I don't know what that accomplishes by me floating. Okay, let's stream. get our first trailer out there for everybody. This is for a web series called Threshold. And we found this trailer this week. Let us know what you think. This house wasn't just abandoned. It was tortured and left to die. No one's lived there in over 20 years. Not since the sole owner of the house disappeared. Now that's not to say no one's been there since. Usually just kids who dare each other to go inside. Most don't even make it to the door before running away. But every once in a while, some brave or stupid kid will find himself standing on the front step. No one knows what happens if you go in. There are countless rumors and stories. But the only way to find out for sure is to take a step. Inside. So, look, I say we go find out what happens. What? Come on. You guys aren't scared, are you? Boo! Yeah. I think it looks fun. The animation in the, in the trailer was kind of awesome sauce. Mm -hmm. It's different. It's very different. And it intrigued me right away. Which is... It is does. kind of interesting. And, and uh, Barry Dodd in the chat room is right. It does kind of have a, a Monster House feel. And I love oh, that movie too. This is for Barry. Cricket pee! Because like, I was asleep. I was asleep, Mom. Why am I awake? Oh, that's because Barry's in the room. She's still upset with us for leaving her to go to the thing market. Well, we've been gone. We've gone half the day. That's what happens. Okay, should we lighten the mood a little bit? Okay. I, it's not that it's not <laughs> like, light. When, when did it get dark? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Zan nailed it. That did look like a lot like the uh, Nickelodeon show, uh, Are You Afraid of the Dark? I love ah. dark and scary stuff. We've been voraciously reading everything we can about the next American Horror Story season two. Which uh, Jessica Lang and Evan Peters are both coming back. I freaking playing love different characters. the concept of this show, and I wish more people would get behind it. I really do. Because everybody hates it. Like, it's not serialized. How come more of the original cast isn't coming back to play themselves again? So if they are, it's a different story. They're coming back. They're just playing different it's people. A different, I think it's great. It's a different American horror story. So, yeah, anyway. Next. What's the next one? Hum, the hum. next one. I think we're going to show Chambers and Friends. So hold on, Ooh. should I should I pull up a little information about Chambers and Friends? If you want to, or we can play the trailer and then we can talk about all the information that you find. Okay. Okay. Here's the trailer. <laughs> iTunes comedy podcast rankings are out. You printed them up. Yeah. It says here that we are 15th. Hey, and, and on there we were 17th, right? So the rankings on paper are even better. In the time since you printed this up, we have dropped two spots. We are literally failing in real time. 18th? 
isn't my purchase of organic hummus in and of itself basically a tacit endorsement for gay marriage? You bought organic hummus? I promise you, we will hardly mention, you know, the greatest film franchise of all time. So we just won't talk about that. So, who's our victim for today? Wait, you didn't read the background email I sent? It was a YouTube link to a video of a Russian guy doing the kid and play dance with a bear. Do you see your milkshake over here? Oh, yes. Mine is over here. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> your season of Last Comic Standing was before or after the whole show was totally rigged? Uh, if this episode doesn't get 100,000 downloads, I will shave my head and move to Europe. What makes a good henchman? Do you have the same problem telling Thomas Jane from Aaron Eckhart that I have, or is it different because you've met him? Do you hench overtime? Do you hench weekends? <laughs> okay. That garage door opener. I love the garage shit. door opener. That is just kick ass. <laughs> <laughs> la, la, la. Well, and hey, you're using Carmina Burana. So, yay. Well, how much do you love any sh it, it, you know, we do a podcast. So, we certainly see the humor in a in a web so a web series about a podcast. And some of that is quite funny. Oh. Maybe, but in his garage, I could not imagine doing the podcast from, from the garage. No. Here or in Florida. It'd be like, we're dying, and the door is shut, and yay. Now, I see Seth said he's so over awkward humor. It's still my favorite. <laughs> awkward humor will always be my favorite kind of But it of humor. has to be done right. Like, you can't... The only thing better than awkward humor is laughter through tears. That's <laughs> really, like, the only... Isn't that still another form of awkward? Did I mention Max Payne 3 kicks some serious <laughs> ass as a game? Just really. Um, what does that have anything to do with awkwardness? <laughs> Transitional segue. Awkward. Changing lanes without signaling. <laughs> Yay. So. What kind of games do you guys like? Do you play games? Do you not like games? What do you play? Is it all just Call of Duty and Grand Theft Auto, or do you guys really venture out and play like Red Dead Redemption and Halo and Dead Space, Silent Hill, Resident Evil? I play Pick Up the Cricket. Mass Effect. Star Wars. The Reckoning. How about Dragon's Dogma? We have that one here in the house now, oh, too. Speaking of which, though, if you do end up getting Dragon's Dogma... And you would like to borrow, apparently, me like looking to, like a pawn. like to uh, loan out members or, or have members of Indie Intertube as part of your roving party. Just, you know, send us a line. We'll send you the name of the pawn. And you can traipse about the world of Dragon's Dogma with this one. Yeah. Yeah. Amanda actually has Star Wars Unleashed. Yes. One and two. Yep. She's got Knights of the Old Almost Republic bought again. Halo Wars Collector's Edition today, but the guy was asking too much for a flea market. You know what I mean? When you're at a flea market, what do you expect? Rock bottom prices. Yeah, $70 for the Legendary Edition is kind of steep. Okay, so the next one that we're going to talk about, okay, this one is really interesting, okay? Because, and... It, it shocked me when I found the trailer because I was like, Hummel, what? <laughs> what? Because this web series stars Mackenzie Phillips. Oh, yeah. Mackenzie Phillips. Uh-huh. You remember her? Yeah. She was on uh, One Day at a Time. And then she went batshit. A um, bit. Wrote a book. But yeah, uh, it's Mackenzie Phillips is in this. And I, I was like, like I said, I was like, I'm a what? When I was reading the description and then I watched the trailer and I thought I was just watching it for giggles. And then I thought this looks kind of interesting. So you guys check it out and let me know what you think. And then I will tell you the information about where you can find it. This is the trailer for interns.
Welcome to Elite Magazine. Now that you're settled, it's time to get to business. Just out of curiosity, why were we picked? After a rigorous selection process, we selected individuals we thought would bring something special to Elite Magazine. At the end of this internship, only one of you will be offered a job at the magazine. Keep that in mind. Elite Magazine does not open its doors often. We are a company that hires exclusively from within. And you are now in. Okay. Right? Weird. Right? Weird. And yeah, you're kind of interested, aren't you? Aren't you? Kind of. There's some information about it on Tumblr. Um, I can't find a premiere date, but I'm guessing it's soon. But I was kind of fascinated by the whole thing, weren't you? That's kind of weird. Because all I, I see Mackenzie Phillips and I'm like, wow, all I can think of is your book. Um, and the funness that that caused the world. Um... But no, when they opened the door for a second, I was like, are they in Gene Simmons and Shannon Tweed's home? Like, what? <laughs> that staircase shot. Nope, it opens wider. Okay, not the right one. Not the right one. Seriously, but Hummel What was totally... You know, you never know, and... They are wider than white. But you never know how a show is going to turn out. It can have... I, I think I would rather have a crappy trailer and a really good show than a really shitty trailer... Wait, I think I'd really... Okay, wait a minute. <laughs> what? The sun on my brain. Try that again. I think I'd really rather have a sort of crappy trailer and a really good show than an epic trailer and then a show that sucks. Yeah. You? I think I am Because there's a lot the of other. that, you know, wow, look at the trailer. And then you see the show and it's like not good. Oh. Yeah, you get the show and you're like, wow, this went in a completely horrible direction. Yay! <laughs> Dreams have been dashed like the baby in Caligula. So, yeah. I mean, like that that fairy tale one. Oh. I mean, we showed the trailer to you guys here on the show. Oh. And it looked like it was going to be so good from the trailer. So and the series epic. just did not live up to that. And it's really a shame because then you're like, oh my God, oh. really? How did you go so, so wrong? So very, very wrong. It's kind of like the same with movie trailers. Like, there's movies that you watch and you watch a trailer and you're like, what? I have to see that. And others you're going, and I just saw the movie summed up in eight minutes. Okay. Yeah. And Don't it's need just... to see it. Don't need to see it. It's, it's really tough. It's really, really tough when that happens because you want every web series to be good. You want every show to be good. And then there are some that are epic. Yeah. And have little teeny tiny trailers. And speaking of, Ragged Isle, Ooh. season two premieres this coming Wednesday. Tuesday, some of us might get to see it. Are you telling me something I should know? <laughs> but it's coming up on Wednesday of this week. And in honor of them, we thought we'd show their tiny, tiny trailer for season two, their teaser trailer. Because you do not want to miss Ragged Isle. This is an epic show that only promises to get better and better after their first season. And we can't wait to find out what happens. And we might have to hurt Barry Dot if we don't see the show soon. It's one of our favorites. It was a nominee for Drama of the Year, Thriller of the Year. Mm. Thriller. Thriller. And a multiple nominee in many, many second annual Indie Inner Tube Award categories. This is the second season teaser trailer for Ragged Isle.
one of the most anticipated web series happening this summer, the second season of Indian or Two Best Web Series Thriller Winner. Rag it off. Season two. Can't wait. I want that lobster hoodie. And that's Barry Dodd in the chat room. So you can let him know how much you are looking forward to Ragged Isle. What I want to know, is the lobster <laughs> walking into or out of town? Out. And who's left? He's walking out. With it. With the freaking whatever. It's so good. I know. If you it haven't seen the first shot. season, you have to see it because that the clip of everybody in the town coming together in the town hall is... Prior to the finale. Epic. If you see all of that and then and you watch the first season, you're like, oh. Yeah. Because you start picking out people that certain things have happened to and other stuff. You're like, oh. Okay. Yeah. Literally, I will watch, I've watched that trailer about a thousand times and yeah. still at There's the end some, of it, I'm like this. There are some highly anticipated stuff coming this summer. The rest of Once You Leave. See? Um, Leaving. Oh, he's headed into town from the Lobster Festival. Into town, see? <gasps> We've got Once You Leave coming back. We have Fumbling Through the Pieces are just finished filming their second season. Divanity is about to start filming their third season. Or did they film? We have the second season of Ragged Isle. They did a read-through. Oh, that's right. We have Drifter. God knows what's happening with them, but something big. I'm excited. We have the second season of Leap Year is coming. Woo! With Emma Caulfield, Elijah Dushku, and the regular outstanding cast that Leap Year has. So much stuff. I'm excited. So Legendary is coming. I'm excited. Did we mention that we have the world premiere of Legendary? But you're not going to see it right now. A Tale of Blood <laughs> and Steel. The web series. Seriously, it's like... But you're not going to see it right now. It's like you're gonna see premieres. it. A little closer to the end of the show. With all these shows. It's like, ooh, late summer, fall, new show, mid-season premiere. Yeah. Yay! That's where I'm at. I'm like, screw TV. <laughs> all the awesomeness is on the web. That's I don't even know what we about. use TV for anymore. To watch the news? No. Get that online. To play games. Yeah. That's pretty much it. That's what I use my TV for. Although we sold our Tony Hawk ride board and game today. That's okay. We went to a kid that'll use it. Yeah. I'm happy. Ooh, Barry talked to Julie and Caruso today. That's like a web series powwow, hey? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We need to have Julie on the show again. Julie and Ava. Yeah. Yeah, there's so much coming. And if so much exciting stuff coming. That's why you guys do not fret that primetime television is not on right now because now it gives you time to watch a web series. <laughs> You've just totally stolen that and made it your own. <laughs> there are plenty of web series out there to watch. If you like thrillers, Ragged Isle is your game. If you like pure drama, Once You Leave. If you like dramedy, you got Fumbling Through the Pieces coming. If you're a soap fan, Divanity is coming. Legendary for you sci-fi and fantasy geeks, on its way. And if Jay knows what's good for him, so will Embers of War. So, lots of stuff coming. Right? Yep. You never know what is going to happen anymore in the web series community. There's new stuff coming out all the time. In fact, there is a web series uh, called The Bullet. Ah. Um, and they actually released their first episode on May 20th, it looks like. Yeah, yeah. And we have their trailer and also a behind-the-scenes piece for them. Well, let's do behind-the-scenes first. <laughs> Yeah. It's a web series. Hold on. Okay. It's a web series created by director and producer Ray Damon and her brother, writer and actor Jarrell Damon, and it's about a silent Native American protector. And it's all filmed in Arizona. And I find the behind the scenes um, extremely cool. So you want to show that first? Yeah. Show okay. that first and then the trailer. Okay. This is the bullet behind the scenes green screen. Over our weapons bunker shoot, 
Um, we did have a test shoot for this. As you can see, there's green screen all behind there. And we had to have, um, to make sure that we could do what we wanted to do, which is recreate the background of making guns and also the computer screen that pops up when mechanic is going through the weapons for bullet. Under any jacket you choose. And for safety reasons, we've ordered some Kevlar just in case you're human after all. Karen, are you angry at the <laughs> 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 Um, again, like I said, we had to block out all the windows because eventually they're going to be covered by something. And in here, you see John, our Viz FX supervisor, and his handy dandy white styrofoam ball that he uses to, to figure out which, where the light is coming from. The day of shooting, we changed some things up. The opening shot, you can see there's the green background, some movement. We had one plate, which was mechanics meaning we just shot her by herself, and then we shot Cannon by himself. And then we had to layer the two together. So this is both plates together and also the motion graphics for the computer screen test to see if we, it would work. Sure enough, it did. Now in the final composite, we there were some issues with the green screen poking through underneath the composite, and it needed to be a quick fix. So instead, what we decided to do was to color correct the um, background and just kind of really oversaturate the greens since they're in this underground weapons bunker why not so that's the reason why i did what i did um you can barely see it unless you look closely <laughs> sorry john we're gonna look closely unless you look closely then you can't see it but for right now like i'm happy with the results I love it when web series creators give everybody an insight into what's going on behind the scenes of lower budget productions. I think it's important that people see what creators go through, especially when they have smaller budgets, and so that they can understand and value the work that goes into these shows. And now that you've seen that bit of behind the scenes, here is the trailer for The Bullet. Settle this casino business to ashes. What kind of weapon? This mission is more important than the usual. I know. Small world. I knew you were here. I've got one word for you. Bullet. And here is the URL for their web series, uh, for their channel on YouTube, so that you can go and check it out. I want to see how many episodes they have up at the moment. I think they have several. So you don't have to be worried about, you know, watching a show that doesn't have a ton of content out there. But I know that they do have six episodes up. The last one that went up a day ago. So there you go. Six episodes of The Bullet. Go and check them out. Support indie creators. Subscribe to their channel. Like their videos. And give them some comment and feedback and let them know how they're doing. I'm sure they'd appreciate hearing from everybody. I think uh, I am really, really happy with the quality of the new web series that we're seeing. I think, like even a year ago, mm -hmm. I would say more than half the web series that were coming out were unwatchable. And I don't think that's the case anymore. No. That number is, is dropping exponentially. 
mm-hmm. with the percentage and amount of web series that you just can't get past the first minute and a half in. Mm-hmm. And we're seeing more stuff. And the stuff that I'm watching or seeing that I can't really get through is usually big money, celebrity driven stuff or stuff that has had money thrown at it and there are people from TV coming into this space. I usually dig a lot of the indie content that we watch, don't you? Mm-hmm. Speaking of indie content that we dig, Once You Leave is getting ready in June to launch, to relaunch their first season. And they have episode seven coming. And just recently, Nate Locklear, the creator of Once You Leave, put up a behind the scenes video um, where he talks about the next episode and a little bit of, gives you a little bit of an update about what's going on with them. And then gives you a sneak peek at a scene from episode seven. So thanks to Nate and his generous spirit, we have that video to show you today. So here is a behind the scenes look at and a, a behind the scenes look at once you leave and a sneak peek at episode one, season one, episode seven. Once you leave. Hi, uh, Nate here from Once You Leave, and uh, we've been super busy. And if you haven't seen us for a while. The last time we had an episode was technically at the end of December, and uh, the last time you saw Kayla in the series, she was in a little bit of trouble. So yes, I know we left you on a very big cliffhanger. Uh, That wasn't the original intent. That uh, ending scene was the beginning of episode seven originally, but we did like it and it is kind of fun ending on cliffhangers. But uh, we're back with the second part of season one. Episode seven is a very dark episode and a very different episode. We wanted to give it a different look and a little bit a different structure in some ways. And it's a very special episode because Kayla and I got to work rather than director and actress, we got to work as actor and actress because I play the character she meets in this episode, Ben. And it was fun going into the role of an actor uh, rather than just director. And I did you know, acting throughout high school and I've been in shorts in college and after college. I never considered myself an actor, but I have studied it, read books, so I definitely wanted to Uh, give myself a chance to do that in this series. And what we ended up with is just this really sad story of these two damaged characters in Ben and in Kayla. And the end scene where Ben reveals his dark secret that is kind of built up to is this highly emotional scene. And it's a very long scene. And we're kind of taking a chance in the web series world having this long of a dialogue scene but I think it's interesting and you can see kind of the pain in Ben and you can see how Kayla reacts to it and how she relates it to her world and Rachel and all that other stuff and so I think it's something that y'all are really going to enjoy and it fits perfectly in the series but what we're showing you right now is going to be a scene that's kind of close to the beginning and Ben starts to tell a story and we start to get some ideas of who this character is and uh, you know how Kayla feels about him and how she feels about this situation she's in now and it all leads to the final moment of this episode. So I think y'all are really gonna like this uh, episode especially if you've really liked the the series so far and I know we've been gone a long time but we're coming back in a big way. This is our longest episode. Kayla and I are acting together. It's this deep dark story so uh, please enjoy this scene from episode 107 and if you can you know, share, comment, like, retweet, all that stuff. We need that. It really helps us. And we really appreciate everything y'all have done so far. And uh, we'll see you soon, hopefully in June, with new episodes. Okay, thanks. Bye. So when did your parents pass away? About two years ago. They had moved out here from Houston, but... uh, I stayed back with the rest of my family. I really liked how this place looked. It was weird. When they uh, retired, they came out here and they immediately picked out a plot. Like it was over for them or something. (laughs) I don't know. So what's the deal with your dad? 
Um, he left my mom like 15 years ago. Just left one day. Well, did y'all keep in touch at least? Kind of. Not really. Not for the last eight years. So why go to him now then? Um, I had a change of plans. And I kind of just want to figure out why he got so weird. What do you mean weird? I don't know. Just antisocial. Just disappeared. I think my mom's behavior really affected him. His behavior really affected my mom, though. Made her so much worse. I don't know. It's all fucked up. Yeah. So why'd you end up here? You know, I used to run track back in school. I was fucking fast, too. That's what I did. I ran and I ran. <clears throat> My friends are all out doing drugs and trying to score chicks. But not me, I just ran. I mean, if I was upset, I was sad, excited, happy, needing to think, I would just run and it'd be all right. I did hang out with my friends, and I had girls asking me out, but I never... Fuck, I don't know. Look, I can't. So you used to be fast, huh? Let's see what you got, cook. Loser buys beer. <laughs> and scrubs the dishes. Come on, fuck you, motherfucker! Whenever I watch a clip, it, it just pulls me right back into the story, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Like, it just pulls me right back into the story. Like, you watched the, the last episode yesterday. Like, yeah, oh. I think the show is genius. I absolutely love it. Love it. They were the best drama web series winner. Kayla Olsen is the best actress winner at the second annual Indie Intertube Awards. And it couldn't be more deserving. Um, Once You Leave is one of the best purely dramatic web series that we've seen and it comes highly highly recommended but it is a pure drama and there's room for that in the web and I think we need to see more of it and I hope that this is just the beginning of what we see Nate Lockler do in the web series space because I think he is a bright bright talent who has a lot of creative passion and talent to share with the world and I think there are great things to come from him and we will all be better for it and the space will be better for it um, I can't wait to see episode 7 and the rest of Once You Leave's first season how about you? yeah <laughs> I know she just wants to know what happened to Kayla <laughs> what happened? but it's the truth uh, wow there's just one more clip left on here oh I can't even imagine. I cannot even imagine. Now, did I hear tale of somebody saying that Legendary, the web series, had a Twitter now? No. But I'm not finding it. And I was going to let everybody know, but see, now I can't find it. And I know that uh, Jay is in the room. And I'm hoping that he can tell us. I know there is a, f a Facebook for a legendary but I'm not sure about the Twitter I thought he had said at the top of the show that there was one but this is a true meeting of the minds this web series legendary um he's like hold on hold wait on. hold on legendary underscore show at legendary underscore show is the on Twitter. Twitter they just put it up Okay, that's my bad. At the start of our show. I'm going to put my keyboard where my talk is. Oh. And I am going to... Am I spelling it wrong? L-E-G-N-D-A-R-Y underscore show. Really? Yeah. 
I'm a total dork then because I'm just not getting it. What? How are you not getting it? It's right here. <laughs> it's right, that's it right there. Do, do. Yeah, because people want to see what I'm doing on my browser. They can't see it. Do 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 do. Lost bags. As you all just watch room. us do our stuff. See? Boom! Okay, I will find it after the show. Seriously, you're not signed in? Seriously? Well, yeah, I'm signed in, but I'm just <sighs> clearly not doing it right. Oh, because you know what? This is stupid new Twitter. That's the problem. Because you're not putting the pound in? No, because I'm not. I'm doing it on the wrong. Are, is anybody else now you're following having them. like Yay! some serious issues with uh, Twitter. Twitter and their new stupid hashtag pound discover thing bullshit? Look, I'm gonna tweet to them. Check it out. Showing your <laughs> world premiere. Spelled that wrong. Trailer. Seriously, I just I, I just do not like right it. Um, they do have a Facebook. They do have a Twitter. It is a meeting of the minds of some really cool people, including um, yes. Mr. Lee. Yes. 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 From uh, Embers <laughs> of War, which is one of my favorite web series that I need more of. Excuse me, Jay. Um, but without further ado, before we talk about, you know, all of the stuff to it and give you a link to the Facebook, which I'm sure that everybody will put in the chat room because you really, really need to put uh, the that stuff up. Let sh let's show. This is the world broadcast premiere what? of Legendary, A Tale of Blood and Steel. Oh, that's not it. That's the intro. Check this out. Hi, my name is Jay Lee. I'm the creator of Legendary, A Tale of Blood and Steel. And I'm Barry Morgan, the director of Legendary. And I'm Guido Oreo, the executive producer of Legendary. And Destiny and Shad, thanks for having us on the show today and for everyone else tuning in right now. Here's the world premiere trailer for Legendary A Tale of Blood and Steel. And Emma Caulfield, if you're watching, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cut. <laughs> Hi there, I'm George R. R. Martin, and you're about to watch the trailer for Legendary A Tale of Blood and Steel. Which has a nice ring to it, but Ice and Fire is better. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do it. We once defended these lands of south together. And now, doth to dragons, we must defend this land again. My king. Thane and Fogwood is reassembling the Light Brigade, my lord. Praxis moves to destroy all that we have stood for. What would you have of me? A quest that will determine the outcome of our entire realm. <laughs> Beauty such as this belongs in a place other than these lands. Dogs of war will show Draxus once again. And Blade will make bone for the last time. Well done, guys. It's a great trailer. The music's epic. Yes. 
epicness of Lady Hawk influence. I know. I doubt that's where they got that from, but that's what I always think of when I hear like epic choral fantasy music mixed with rock. I'm like, yes! Did you see Pony? Yes! There were many ponies. I like the blood on the camera deal. Yeah. I like that. I've seen that in in, in, in very few action action uh, flicks, but I, I like that. It really adds a sense of realism. You get that in video games. Mm-hmm. You do get that in some video games. Lately, we've gotten it in 3D movies. We're yeah, you see that in 3D that split movies. Just second, but yes. Yes. I see? think it's great. And that's the other thing. So look at the Gift of Amber's like, was that, a, was that Circular Shields? Look at the, the fencing double. Like, oh my God, the tunic is awesome. <laughs> it is. You look at it and you're like, oh, I want her mask. It's a great trailer. I want that sort of like dragon claw mouth chainmail thing. That was awesome. Yeah. I think it's going to be an epic show. Um, we can't wait to have them on to talk about it. Right? Because seriously. Legendary. I mean, Jay called into the show to talk a bit about it, and I'm hoping that he links us to the Facebook. Has he done that in the chat room? Mm -hmm. ba -ba 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 -ba. What? Linking to the Facebook. No, not yet. He has before, but not right now. Yes. <laughs> But yeah, I really, really like how well crafted the trailer is. Love the epic music. I just can't wait. We're fantasy geeks, so. And it's done by uh, um, their fencing and sword play people, so it's not. That's the cool thing about it. It's yeah, not people just kind of fucking around with uh, real swords, hoping that it looks good. They actually know what they're doing. Um, yeah. That's really yeah. it's and, and I'm really surprised that no one that that we've seen yet has really kind of tapped into their local LARPing groups and fencing groups to really get them involved in these in these fight scenes because it just looks so, so awesome. Good. Because I mean, really, if you're gonna do something along this proportion, if you can get in touch with those people and say, Hey, you guys have your own costumes, you have your own armor, you have your own tabard, you have your it's own such an weapon. untapped resource. Just, you know. And it's so great to see these two guys come together to make this show as epic as it's obviously going, going to, to be. be. And the episodes full length are 22 to 30 minutes long. Yes, ma'am. So it's going to be like watching a television show. Set in the mystical of realm of Livornia, Legendary tells the tale of a small band of warriors sent on a quest by the dying king to discover a way to stop the evil Lord Draxus from spreading everlasting darkness across the southern kingdoms. If that isn't a, a description of just fantasy epicness, I don't know what is. I'm all about it. All about it. You? Yeah, I know. It's going to be a great show. Um, Jay Lee is a friend of the show, obviously. And Legendary is going to be one that we certainly have an eye on and are watching and can't wait for the launch. And then we'll get the cast of Legendary and oh, the creators yeah. and everybody to come on the show, on the podcast, when you guys are ready to launch. And, of course, we'll be getting, hopefully, behind-the-scenes clips and all kinds of great stuff from Jay as this goes along. Because I can't wait. You know, there's been a lot of, there's a lot of fantasy stuff going on right now. There's a lot of, of, of web series out there that try this genre and, and don't do it well. I have no, no worries that this one is going to be done well. And I will say this though. Embers of War, I need more. Yeah. Because <laughs> I was just starting to get into it and, and I need some more. I need more, more, more. We're greedy geeks around here. Greedy nerds. Gotta have more. You know what I mean? It's a loyal genre. It's a genre that's very special to a lot of people. Sci-fi fantasy is... I mean, hell, look at Once Upon on TV right now. It, people are hungry for this kind of stuff because we don't really have any really kick-ass sci-fi fantasy on right now. The days of Xena and Hercules and all of those sci-fi well, shows, even, they're I mean, gone. Outside, on, on regular network television right now, there are no sci-fi shows. There's certainly no Trek. And we're very, very limited in our, our fantasy shows that we have. Yeah. Whereas before, it was, you know, 
all over the board. Well, you had Legend of the Seeker. You had Xena. You had Hercules. I miss Legend of the Seeker. That's a pretty stuff. That was a pretty, pretty show. But that Legend was of the Seeker was good. Rami and Tapper again. Like, doing Xena over. So, uh, you know, I don't know. There needs to be another Trek. There needs to be more fantasy shows on television. There needs to be... More sci-fi. And I'm not talking... I, when I say sci-fi and fantasy, I'm not talking about Vampire Diaries. Or True Blood. And that's But that's on cable. I'm talking on plain out network television. Traditional television. television. Traditional network television. We're not talking about You've got Walking Rim Dead on AMC. And Once We're not Upon. talking that's about it. True Blood or Game of Thrones. We're talking about stuff on network television. When was the last time you saw something like Alias? When was the last time you saw something like Legend of the Seeker or Xena or Hercules or Andromeda? We've lost Stargate. We've lost Battlestar. We've lost... There's no Trek. We've lost so much with nothing to replace it with because all anybody wants to give us is reality TV and situation comedy. I'm ready for a little genre TV. How about y'all? And if I can't get it from TV, you know where I will get it? Web the series. Web. Because I would prefer to get it from web series anyway. Look. Just look at that trailer from Legendary. And tell me that there's not just as creative, passionate, talented people working in the web space as there are working for traditional TV. It's obvious. And yes, I see Seth is saying there's Nikita, but you know what? She is not no. Nikita. No. Peter Wilson no, no, is no. Nikita. The femme Nikita? Fuck. No. Uh-uh. <laughs> I don't Lost care. Lost the show after my heart right there. Yeah, I don't care how Miss awesome Alias. Totally Miss Alias. Nikita looks, she ain't Nikita. Because you know what? You could snap her wrist like this. And Eureka is gone. They've just yeah, got, Eureka's, Eureka's gone. Eureka's been canceled. Um, Sanctuary gone. has been canceled. Sanctuary's gone. Supernatural's still on. Oh, is it? On the CW. I thought but, it was going to. Um, you know, with Eureka leaving, Haven's no longer on. We've got Lost Girl, but that's coming from Canada. Thank God for Lost Girl and Continuum, which starts tonight. But, yeah, I mean, it is, it, it's just such bullshit that... We don't have that kind of stuff anymore. And I, you know, we've like, like Julianne Emery was saying last week on the podcast, we've got a lot of chicks with guns on TV, but not chicks with guns who can take care of themselves. I miss Alias. Right. I miss those shows where these women can take care of themselves and it doesn't end up being about she's got to get married and have a kid in order to be fulfilled or why can't she be married with a kid and still be kick ass with a gun? And take care of herself and her family. And oh. save herself and them. Because when people are doing that every day. Every day. I don't know. It's the same. It's like w when I sit and think about it and I go, there is Star Trek movies being made and that's great again, but there is no Star Trek series on my television anymore. And I feel very deprived. And I feel that the younger generations who, you know, kind of started out watching TV right after Enterprise went off, and they're not experiencing that or like Forever Night or Forever Night, dude. Angel who remembers that? Buffy that was a vampire show. And and um, Friday the Thirteenth, the series, and all these other like sort of fanatical sci-fi fantasy shows are gone, and they're being replaced with reality show crap and rehashed um, ideas that usually get canceled after the first season. And based on pilot season, we're going to get an influx of stupid comedy. But think about it. Wouldn't you rather watch Once You Leave, Los Feliz show because you know, uh, I know I pronounced that wrong. I think it's Los Feliz. But there they are. You love that show. Yeah. I like it too. Once You Leave, Ragged Isle, Legendary, Embers of War. We don't need traditional television to give us what we crave. It's already out there and it's being made oh, just for those face. of us who are on the web. So if you have a computer, if you have a laptop, if you have an iPad, if you have a phone with a good data plan, if you have a Google TV, if you have Apple TV, if you have a Boxy or a Roku, we can guide you to the content you crave. We can guide you to what it is you need to see. You don't have to depend on TV. You don't have to watch reality TV crap and let it mind numb your brain down. You can watch Legendary, A Tale of Blood and Steel. You can watch... Embers of War. You can watch Ragged Isle, Once You Leave, Divanity, Thurston, Fumbling Through the Pieces, Breaking Point, um, 
anyone but me out with dad there are there are lists and lists and lists of shows that you can watch that are in the same genre as the shows you watch on tv that you're not getting right now and if you want reality it's there too <laughs> but it's better you can watch felicia felicia day on flogged you can watch source fed and get your news for the day in a hip current way to do that from philip defranco tabletop. and the people at source fed you can watch tabletop you don't have to follow traditional television down the rabbit hole so that they can dumb down your brain and send you into Pink Floyd's The Wall or into a meat grinder or so that you can realize that, you know, Soylent Green is people. You can actually break out. I feel like I'm in an Apple commercial. Right? Um, but yeah, you don't need it. As long as you have this. You can do anything. You can do anything. You can find you can anything. You can watch anything. You can find anything. And we are here as your trusty guides. Email. Put it up there. Email. Oh, it's coming. Email us. Twitter Go us. On. Talk to us on Facebook. Woo! Check out our website. We will, like I said, be your trusty guides along this journey through the web series space to help you find what you're not getting and the kind of content that you crave. That's what we're here for. That's what we want to do. And that's what we intend to continue helping Truth. you all do. Because... Trust me, there is some killer shit in the web space if you just take the time to find it. Yes. And don't listen to us. Listen to George R. R. Martin. <laughs> and he will tell you what show to watch <laughs> to find out about all of these web series. Tell him, George. Oh, seriously? Hi there. I'm George R. R. Martin, and you're watching Indie Inner Tube, which is more than I have done. Enjoy. You went there. See? You went there. Hey, Commander Shepard tells you every week on our podcast. So does Cole McGrath. And Lexi Joy. That's right. And Victor, Victor Webster. And yeah. Ragged Isle, season two premieres on Wednesday of this week. You do not want to miss it. We will be reviewing it on Wednesday as well. We will also be reviewing Anacostia and Breaking Point and a number of other web shows this week. We will be reviewing Bullet, The Bullet. And we will be reviewing more of your favorite web series. If there is a show that you want us to talk about, you want us to see that we haven't yet, if one of your favorites that we just haven't noticed, if you're a creator and you want us to feature your show, we are going to be sending out questions to a number of web series creators tonight and over the next week. And you guys can film answers to those questions. Send them in. If you want to be featured on our show, send us a trailer. Send us behind-the-scenes clips. We'll be happy to show them. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. We're excited about the space. And like I, you know, we're going to watch a ton of content. We might as well share it with you guys so that way you can find it too. This Wednesday on the show, we'll be doing all of those reviews plus news and views and open phones. And then on June 6th, we will be announcing the winners of Celebrate the Web 6 live. And then on June 13th, was it? Yes. We have Barry Dodd and Ragged Isle. Coming back on the show to talk about their new season. We couldn't be more excited about that to welcome Barry Dodd back. And I don't know who he's going to bring with him. And you know what? It doesn't matter because it's all good. And who knows who else might show up on our show. And maybe next weekend you'll even see the Indie Inner Tube Yay Tonight dance. Maybe. It could happen. Depends on if Julie's busy. Thank you guys for <laughs> watching and again putting up with our rambling about the web series space. Go and check out Threshold, The Bullet, Chamber and Friends, Interns, Ragged Isle on Wednesday, the beginning of season two, once you leave. And go and follow Legendary, A Tale of Blood and Steel on Facebook and Twitter and let them know how, you, how excited you are that they are working on something new in the fantasy realm. And if you're in their area, go join their uh, fencing club. Their, sword, their swordsmanship club. You should. You learn yes. a lot. Yeah. And remember, when you see this episode up on YouTube, comment. And hey, well, how about an assignment in America? Oh, are we doing an assignment? Oh, you know what we didn't do? We didn't do spew. I know, because I didn't have anything to spew about. That's how about right. an assignment America? Oh, snap. What's our assignment? I think this is cool. As an assignment America, one time and this one time only, because this is going to be a perk in our upcoming Indian or Tube campaign but for one time and one time only if once this video this show goes up on youtube tomorrow hopefully 
you guys do a review of your favorite web series, no matter what it is. Videotape yourself doing a review of your favorite web series and put it up as a video response to this show. And we will pick the best one of those and we will run it on next week's show. That's your assignment, Interwebs, should you choose to accept it. And now it's time for this show to self-destruct. Thank you guys for watching and we'll talk to you on Wednesday. The internet. It's not something that you just dump something on. It's not a big truck. It's a series of tubes.